Hello everyone, my name is Ian and you're watching Big Rock Moto. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you're new here and you like this kind of content, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Now, I've been using the Tusk Highland X2 rackless luggage system for a number of years since really Rocky Mountain first brought it out. But it struck me the other day that I'd never really done a dedicated review video on this luggage setup. So I'll just talk through kind of my experience using it, how it works, the pros and cons, and compared to some other systems out there. So the first thing you need to know is that when you're looking at a rackless luggage system, it's quite a bit different than a pannier that mounts on a rack. So there's pros and cons, and I have videos about this. The pros of the rackless luggage systems, whether it's this or a Moscow Moto or a Giant Loop or anything else out there, is that they're less weight because you don't have racks. They hold the weight also closer to the bike to centralize the mass better to preserve the handling. And they're less expensive because uh, the bags are reasonably priced, but also you're not buying a three or $400 pannier rack and having to bolt that to your motorcycle. When you pull this off, your motorcycle is naked except for a heat shield on the exhaust, uh, meaning you don't have racks uh, to be an eyesore if that's something you don't like. So the Highland X2 is, is Tus' largest uh, rackless luggage system. Um, it has a capacity of, well, it depends on what top bag you get. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but the side, on each side, you have about 25 uh, liters. And then the top, it just depends on what bag you get. So you could have a total capacity of anywhere between about 65 to upwards of 80 or 90 liters, depending on different attachments that you would get. So the configuration you see here, uh, this is the small dry duffel bag on the top. And if you go to the Rocky Mountain website, you'll see they have a, the small, or I'm sorry, the medium or the large duffels, uh, or no, I think it's small or medium, they call it. So this is the small, the medium, I also have that bag. I just can't find it right now because I'm moving, which is, a which is the larger top load bag. That also works. So you can use any dry bag up here because of this harness uh, system uh, here on the top with these three straps that hold the dry bag down to the top. You can also get the bottle holders. So I've got the bottle holders here that attach with molly sticks. You can, I would recommend getting that when you purchase it. You can get that as a kit. The molly sticks go in. The bottle holders are great for holding water bottles, snacks, gloves, things you need quick access to on the trail. Uh, the other thing I like is that they give you this quick draw bag here on, on this uh, rear harness or rear beaver tail as I, as I like to call them. Um, the quick draw bag's great. You know, first aid kit, cliff bars, energy drink, whatever you might want to have in here, super nice to get to that. So uh, the things I like about the system, it's really affordable for what it is. This is a pretty high quality setup. This has lasted me for years. Uh, mine's a little beat up, it's a little dirty. I've cut a lot of the straps just because I don't have to roll the straps up and worry about them flapping around. I'm not condoning that, I'm not saying you should cut your straps, but I've done that to mine. So mine's, mine's uh, used quite a bit, but it's held up great. Uh, I also have a review on the Olympus panniers. If you want more traditional pannier, I'll have that video somewhere here below. And I also use uh, and test products from all different manufacturers. So it's not just this one that I'm, that I'm looking at or testing or bringing to you as a review. I like that everything in here is waterproof. So you have the waterproof inner bags uh, that pull out. So you can pack those, those yellow inner dry bags, stuff those in, and you've got everything waterproof. The bottle holders are not waterproof, so anything you put in the bottle holders, make sure that's not sensitive to water. Um, the, all of their dry duffel bags, that's why they call dry bags, they're all gonna be waterproof. So I like that. I like how it keeps the bike slim, it keeps the mass centralized. It's really easy and quick to mount. Three straps on the back. You will need some sort of a tail rack to attach those rear attachment straps too. Then you need to loop the two front straps uh, through your frame or something, a sturdy attachment point on your bike. Make sure you don't get the straps in the exhaust or in the chain or in a tire or anything like that, secure any loose strap, make sure you don't have any issues with that. Now, one feature they added when they updated to the X2 system is that the, uh, the, the bags actually will pivot. When you set them up, when you get them, you'll be given a choice of how to mount them uh, to, the, to the harness. So you can, if you wanna bring them more ver uh, horizontal, you can, or if you want them to sit more vertical like this. I think I have these kind of in the middle position, which works really well on the Touareg, but it's just gonna depend on your bike. So I like that adjustment system. Also, there is a cutout under here in the harness. If you ride a Husky 701 or a KTM 690 with the rear fuel tank, you can go ahead and access your fuel tank because they've given you that cutout. You can also expand the storage on these. So they do have Molly attachments point here. I'm using the rear ones for the bottle holders. You could buy two more bottle holders and put them on the front, or you could put any Molly bag of your choice, uh, really, on these front Molly panels if you wanted. So I like that expandability. There's also Molly back here on this beaver tail portion, uh, which I'm using for the included uh, quick draw bag. So are there any downsides to the system? Um, 
you know, uh, not really. That I haven't really found any downsides. It's it's a, it's a great system. I've tested it on my adventure rides on a lot of different bikes over the years. Um, is it as high quality or as long lasting as a Moscow Moto or a Giant Loop uh, or a premium product like that? No. Uh, does it cost as much as those? Also no. So you're making that trade off between price and quality. I'm just being as honest as I can. Um, I think for most people, the quality level of this is good enough and it's gonna last long enough and the price is not too crazy. Are there cheaper things out there you can get on Amazon or, or Alibaba or whatever? Sure, but how are those gonna work and hold up? I wouldn't count on that very much if I was honest. Rocky Mountain stands behind their stuff and is it's one of the reasons that I uh, like to be associated with them for so long. Uh, so yeah, really no, really no downsides. If you want the absolute best luggage you can get, um, and you don't care about budget, then yeah, I would recommend Moscow or Giant Loop or a company like that. Some final things you should consider if you're looking at the rackless luggage, uh, specifically the Highland X2 or, or any of them, is that uh, they're a little bit harder to pack. So getting in and out of these side pods, let's say you have something in the bottom of the pod here you wanna get to. Well, unlike a more of a traditional box or you know rectangular pannier, you're gonna have to kind of pull that out and get to it. So pack smartly, you're gonna have to pack more smart, smartly, uh, you know, depending on what you're taking with you, make sure you don't bury stuff that you need. A little bit not as convenient to pack. Um, they also don't have as much capacity. So you can get side panniers that uh, have, for two panniers, have the total capacity of this whole system and then add more capacity on top with a top bag. Um, also, these are not quite as fast on and off as uh, a quick release like soft pannier or hard pannier or something like that. So they require a little bit more work, um, but the advantage is that uh, they maintain the handling of your adventure or dual sport bike, um, and when you pull them off, you don't have any racks left remaining. So overall, I would definitely highly endorse uh, the Highland X2. I, I've used these things for years. I've used them on different bike builds, and I'm very happy with them. They perform well. Uh, and I think they're good enough quality uh, for most people. And Rocky Mountain has really great customer service. I'd also recommend checking out their technical breakdown videos of these bags if you're gonna purchase one. Just go to their website, it'll be linked below. Also, I do, I do earn a small commission from my affiliate links, whether it's Rocky Mountain or any of the other ones that I post. So just know that I do earn a small amount, which I do reinvest back into content creation and motorcycle reviews here on this channel. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments and I'll get back to you. Other than that, please remember to use my links, uh, ride safe, and I'll see you out there.